I've had some doctors that actually say, your loved one is dying. And I've had other ones that say, oh, it just doesn't look good. Uh, we're concerned. Um, I've had expire. Some people talk about, I'm afraid they're going to expire. And families don't always understand that because the stress is so high. So sometimes the, the language gets a little soft for the families. Um, and I've, I've read an article not too long ago that talks about when you tell families that someone is going to die, they're going to have a 10% chance of living. And then they've interviewed families after that and said, well, what did the doctor say about their chance of living? They said, oh, it's good. It's, you know, 30, 40%. So even when doctors are saying there's only a 10% chance, families are often hearing the other, other end, more positive end. At the end of every family patient meeting, we do try to do a summary. And at the end of that, we make sure we ask, do you have any questions? Can you kind of tell me what you think about what was said? And then we restate in very simple terms at the end. So what we talked about was, and then that'll usually solidify if there's any questions. Actually being from a teaching institute, I'm teaching doctors every day. So when we round, we have the attending, we have the fellows, we have senior residents and we have interns. And I tell them whenever I orient them that I'm here to help them and I learn from them every day as well. And I tell them communication is the best thing they can do open, honest, often, um, be, be human. They're like, oh, I don't want to cry in front of this family. I'm like, that's a natural emotion. If, if you're communicating with them, you've built a, a, a bond and a rapport with them and you're sad, that's okay. I said, just be honest with them all the time, no matter how tough it is. Mm -hmm.